James, the landlord here continues to stand by his statements that most of the issues around here are the tenants fault. He also told me people signed those complaints without really knowing what they were doing. But residents I spoke with today say that's not true. As city inspectors continued their investigation into the Yale Park apartments Friday, families carried out their belongings by the box. A few inviting us inside to take a look around. I saw filth, which the city has said is the tenant's responsibility, and landlord Kay Anderson echoed today. Well, I guarantee it wasn't there when they moved in. Every unit has cleaned, painted, and repaired. That filth was not there. Those bugs were not there. But there were also ceilings patched with plywood broken doors and tags marking ovens with leaking pipes. Residents like Win Yint say they could smell the gas from outside but didn't realize it was dangerous. I thought it's not a problem. We don't know about the uh, gas. That's why we didn't say anything about that. Anderson maintains the residents were coerced into signing formal code complaints, but I heard differently. Some tenants telling me they've had problems getting repairs fixed for years, like Mient's leaking bedroom. Did you ask him to go fix that? Yeah, we told, told him uh, like a couple times. Residents also told me they'd eventually stop going to Anderson with work requests after so many failed attempts. Anderson said he's not too concerned about getting all those violations taken care of, saying he thinks each unit will probably take about two hours each. Reporting live near 36th and Lake Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.